7th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update, backed by popular demand. I'm going to start with the RSOE today. Typical, typical RSOE. Would you like to go to the main map, the, the big world map, and click on the Fukushima icon with the nuclear disaster and see that they have cleared all the updates from the system. And, uh... <clears throat> Much like the BP oil disaster, Fukushima is no longer a big deal to the RSOE. Ah, so again, I'm starting with the RSOE. They have another, um, the nuclear power plant in Nebraska, I reported last night, is now under a flood. And their situation update number one, now remember this is listed under flood, smoke in an electrical cabinet triggered an alert Tuesday at Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant north of Omaha. No flames were observed and there was no damage to the plant's nuclear reactor. The plant shut down April 9th for, for refueling and has not been restarted because of the Mississippi River flooding. Great idea. Uh, because of the Missouri River flooding, my sir. Uh, David Bannister, the plant's chief nuclear officer, said the smoke was causing an overheated electrical breaker in a secondary building away from the reactor. A fire alarm sounded at 9.30 a.m. and non-essential workers were evacuated from the building. Following a safety review and check of the air quality, the alert was terminated at 1.15 p.m. and the evacuated workers were allowed to return. The incident is under investigation. Mm -hmm. The Fort Calhoun plant had not gone on alert since July of 1992, when electrical problems and a valve failure led to the spill of 20,000 gallons of reactor coolant water into the containment building basement. Sound familiar? <clears throat> so, tricky things going on on the RSOE. I'm going to go over to the EarthChangesScott.net. We're going to start there. United States evacuations continue as Arizona fire spreads. A massive wildfire contained to force evacuations Monday from towns in the eastern part of Arizona and threatened more communities as flames pushed towards New Mexico. And this is that ongoing drought situation. Caribbean storm system threatens Jamaica, Haiti with mudslides. A port of prince is just devastated. you got to remember they've cut down all their trees. Um, there's nothing really holding all the mud on the hills. <clears throat> and they're still living in tents from their big earthquake thanks to the big UN Let's Save Them. And uh, if you want to see what the uh, FEMA camps have in store for you, take a look at what's going on in Port-au-Prince, Haiti. Uh, page 1, Southern Peru Earthquake, Magnitude 6.0. And they've got another story. East Coast warned of heat wave as historic temperatures hit the United States. And I can contest to this. Uh, we're all in the heat, especially in the, here in the central United States. Uh, East Coast as well. Cold snap across east, southeast Australia brings wind, rain, and snow. Uh, ski season is off to a great start as a cold snap this week will send temperatures plummeting across southeast Australia. And um, the RSOE had some reports up where Tasmania is putting out some severe weather alerts. And uh, winter is on in Australia or the Southern Hemisphere. Floods kill 14 and drought stricken China. Floodwaters have killed 14 people and left scores missing in China's southwest as other parts of the country suffer their worst drought in 50 years. Um, the rain-triggered floods had hit 11 cities and counties in the, in the province since Friday, affecting at least 270,000 people. Um, yeah, and again, we, we know the drill with the flooding, the bridges and the roads and the farmland. and <coughs> These guys went from, from fire to flood. Hawaii, snow blankets, Mount Kia. And uh, that's the high elevation mountains in Hawaii, and they've had some snow, and they were, you know, I've been seeing that on the Weather Channel, too. They've been playing it all day with the kids sliding down the hill and whatnot, especially with all the heat going on here uh, in the continental United States. 
and they have their update on Arizona is burning. Thousands of residents in two towns were packing Tuesday, having been told to be prepared to evacuate quickly as the massive wildfire in eastern Arizona grows and weather conditions remain dangerous. A huge pall of black smoke loomed over the twin towns of Edgar and Springville, Springerville, sorry, home of to about 7,000 people, and they have videos, of course. A huge spinning storm off of California in June. Um, I've been watching this for a while. It just seems like it's an ongoing... Um, it almost looks like a hurricane, but it's just this big pressure. Just psh. Having lived in California for 14 years, I have never seen a storm like this during June. It is unheard of. Typically, the rainy season has ended long ago by this time of year. Long ago by this time of year. The size of this monster storm is nearly a thousand miles in diameter and is nearly perfectly symmetrical. Parts of California are currently getting pummeled with bands of record-breaking rainfalls for this time of year, while storm is forecast to continue spinning its way east towards the coast. Now, Dutch Sense is on his way to California taking radioactive readings <clears throat> along the way, and he's had some pretty um, disturbing videos, to be sure. Uh, this storm is just pouring the rain on in California. It's just ongoing. Uh, the Big Apple cracked in New York. U.S. Midtown sinkhole stops rush hour traffic. Traffic baffles investigators. Uh, Midtown sinkhole sn snarled rush hour traffic Monday night on West 57th Street between 8th and 9th Avenues, the second appearance in a year. Now here's the kicker. <clears throat> no one was injured when the near 5 foot by 3 foot hole appeared mid-block around 2 p.m. The New York Department of Protection was on the scene but could not explain the sinkhole. They said no leaks had been detected and promised to investigate the problem. And uh, they've got a 4.2 earthquake in Missouri on the New Madrid fault line. And um, <clears throat> here's a story. Scores of protected golden eagles dying after colliding with wind turbines. So nothing's for free here. Uh, California attempts, attempts to switch to green energy has inadvertently put several of the state's golden eagles at risk. Scores of the protected birds have been dying each year after colliding with the blades of about 5,000 wind turbines. Um, so now they're going to try to shut down the wind turbines because some eagles have gotten hit. Um, this is just insane. Well, they did shut down uh, the water to, uh, to Obama's drought, remember all that, and... Uh, <clears throat> anyway, back over to the RSOE, and um, we've got a tropical storm in the Arabian Sea. That extreme weather in Tasmania, heat wave in Kuwait, um, flash floods in the Philippines, and of course the flash floods in Haiti, Port-au-Prince. Uh, flooding in the state of Nebraska, and that's that Blair Fort Calhoun nuclear generating station story I read at the beginning of uh, this report. And again, we still have the volcanoes going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Over to uh, the extinction protocol. Searing heat wave roasts states across much of the United States, of course. <clears throat> you got a fear piece. Um, 5.4 quake reported off the Chapas, Mexico coast. Uh, it's, and then um, a severe, uh, you got a I, earthquake swarm in uh, Iceland, and they still have a couple of volcanoes ongoing there. But that's not uncommon. Iceland's pretty active. And sun rages as multiple distur disturbances erupt across the solar surface. <clears throat> uh, June 7th, over the past few days, amateur astronomers have recorded some of the most photogenic solar activity in years. And whether or not it's been covering this, and uh, it's been pretty crazy. And then they've got the Arizona wildfire, uh, 350 square miles charged so far. And it's out of control for the ninth consecutive day. They're seeing the smoke. They can see it uh, clear up into Canada. 
<clears throat> it's been pretty hazy here up in Iowa, and that's kind of in between here and there. And they've got the New Madrid uh, 4.2 quake in East Missouri. Chilean volcanic chain unleashes very powerful eruption, and there's just been getting some amazing videos and pictures out of this uh, Chilean volcano erupting uh, ash clouds and um, ash falling just dumping down in uh, Argentina and towns in Chile and and just uh, just a major major eruption going on in the southern hemisphere right now and uh, I put a photo of this on my channel <clears throat> of the lightning going through um, the ash plume pretty crazy pictures um, that's about all I have for you today um, of course if I missed anything please let me know leave your comments or attach your videos uh, until I see you again enjoy what you can and uh, I'll be uh, I'll be on a morning hump tomorrow.